Okay, well, today I've got a bit of a mission on. The power supply you see before you has a bit of a fault. On the left channel, the negative is shorting with the earth. I'm going to circuit there. On the right channel, it doesn't work like that, and it's not supposed to work like that. Um, and so today I'm going to pull it apart and figure out what's wrong. But before I can do any of that, I have to tidy up. Oh, wrong way. Tidy up this bench because it is a mess. It is a mess from lots of prattling around. Little amplifier circuit. Another little amplifier circuit. I was playing around with the old. Um, Jacob's ladder last night as well. Got a little uh, ZVS driver to fix there. Diode's gone on it, I don't even know what to do with that. Fix this little power supply up. We had a couple of blown components. This, uh. Okay, so. I'm taking the screws out of this thing. What I'm going to do is, uh, let me take it across here. Uh, I can zoom in. Um, there's a couple of capacitors there. 100 nanofarads. Uh, and that's what I've been told to look at. This is the image they sent me. I'm going to zoom back out. And I'm just going to try and move a bit closer with the camera. It's my rather large screen. So as you can see, there's a um, an electrolytic there on the left, and some uh, uh, plastic, some poly 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 propylene type film jobbies. Those two there are the ones I've got to check. Because um, if they've shorted, if they've short then there's a possibility that that's what's causing my ground to negative connection. Or at least on the one side there. And this is the, the, the um, engineers. Um, I told him what was happening with it. They've actually sent me the wrong side. Um, from this we're looking at it from the at the right hand side. Because if I'm not wrong, bottom left of that picture is a, uh, a multi-turn pot which would indicate the, uh, the voltage control on the right hand side of the supply where really I want this board but off the other side so um, yeah yeah this is uh, the second power supply the second of these power supplies the first one would short out when you put it in parallel mode or serial mode which is no good I need the, uh, the 10 amps sometimes. So instead of this one going back, they've just got their engineer to send me a picture of the capacitors that maybe have failed. <clears throat> uh, and I've got to go in it and, and figure that out. Um, yeah, so here we are. So this is the mission. Uh, this afternoon, let's get in here. I'm going to take take this off, pull it forward, because these boards these boards are here. The actual the back of the board um, on the photo on the screen there is this side because there's the pot and the, it's quite a big quite a big unit goes in the back here, and it's actually this side where the earth is connected to the negative, and I don't want that. I don't mind having it as an option, but I, I, I don't want it. So, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to take the case off, and we're going to take a look at the inside. Um, after taking a peek in the back here, I'm actually wrong. The image there is of the correct side. Um, what you've got to do is just position yourself upside down. So the fellow got in here, upside down, 
and took the picture <laughs> and sent it to me. So what we go do is undo these screws. And it's the same on the other side, and I'm pretty much hoping that that's just going to drop forward without without too too much ado. Well, there's the that's disconnected. You see, I can't get down there with a multimeter. Um, even if I zoom in, you see the capacitors down there. That's where I want to be. Um, I don't think that's. A, well, I don't think you can see them. There's the right down the bottom there. So I'm just going to turn this over, undo the bottom screw, so I can just just move. I'll turn this over, the whole thing. Now, this thing weighs 13 and a half kilos. I mean, look at the size of those. Those transformers, not that you get to see them terribly well outside, but you get to see the, the side there, so. And it's down here that I'm going to get to. Just inside there. You know, the whole, the whole picture's gone a bit. Go away. So, yeah, not the easiest. But then. That's definitely not the hardest to get to either. Okay, well I've turned the unit round. Uh, there's one of the capacitors. Two of the capacitors are there, look, the two green ones. That's what we gotta get to. So I'm hoping I can get in here now. Um With the probes, and as far as I know, there's supposed to be two, two 100 nanos, which I've got plenty of spares if they have gone, or if one of them's gone. Um, but yeah, uh, not too bad for this, the way it's put together. It does say on the advert that it's all SMD, which well, maybe they've redefined. Um, SMD, but there, there are some SMD. You know, we got some, uh, and it's pretty modular as well. So if something failed, I mean, that's not, that's not too bad. You can just take a part out and see if you can get it swapped out. Uh, nice multi-turn pots. The um, capacitors. Yeah. They're them cheap, crappy Chinese jobbies, aren't they? Maybe I could uh, swap them out for some Rubicons or something. But they are the cheap Chinese ones. But how do I know that? Because look at them. I've got loads of these things. Loads. You get like 30 billion of them for £3 if you send it off to China. And they just keep bombarding you full of their, their capacitors. But anyway. Well, I could be wrong. Like we the vent on the top looks a little bit different to mine. But, right, so I'm going to see what else of this I've got to pull apart to get my probes in there and find out what's going on with those caps. I only use this puppy for measuring. But the... Even though they're really good... And they are, they've actually got hardly any resistance at all. These I can't remember what it is, but it's really low. Um, they're going to be harder for me to get in. I'm then using some of these ones because I can sense I can take the ends off there and have nice you know, long DB bits to nice um, prongs to, to poke in there. So okay, right, and the old uh, the old Bryman. Which this does work quite well. I like this. Um, it's a nice little bit of kit. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to try and see if I can if I can do this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand. I could normally chopstick it, but because they're maybe if I swap hands, I can kinda of do it with my left one. Nah, I don't have a problem with this. Hang tight. It's not as easy to get to these as what I thought. The top one there, 
this one thinks it's a resistor of 500 megs. This one down here has a uh, capacitance of 208 nanofarads. These must be 100 nanofarads each. The same as what these are. So I've got a funny feeling that, that these these are not very good. But really, I have to take them off the board. Um, unless I can get in there. Uh, the the way these have been pushed in, that I can't actually get a probe onto there properly. But I'm gonna see if I can. Um, I'm gonna get into the bash. See if I can. So well. It looks like the side that's working okay. The two capacitors here, uh, both of them measure 208 nanofarad. They're 100 nanofarad each. And the capacitors here, well, the top one, this one, that short, that measures a short um, OL on the capacitor. And if I put continuity, beep, uh, just a few ohms. Resistance and the one down the bottom measures 1.2 milli, um, milli farad. <clears throat> so I'm not quite sure how that's being affected by the other one being short. Uh, not the screen on this screen here. That's where we are. C1, C2 is short. C1 is measuring 1.2 uh, millifarads. As far as I know, that's uh, 390 micro is fine. But yeah, so what we got is there's a connection between ground. And a uh, short B continuity, you know. Uh, we don't really wish for that. On the other side, I can just pull this back slightly. Um, going the wrong way. Alright. Now on this side, this is a, I presume output 2, board 2, it's the other side, you know, the right hand side, secondary output. And that should all be exactly the same, but like I say, both of those um, capacitors there measure to 108 nanofarads. Uh, 208, sorry, and there are 100 nanofarad capacitors. And that side is fine. There's no, there's no connection between short, um, negative, and ground, which is the way I want it. You know, floating, rather than have mains reference earth running through uh, the ground, the negative connections. So I need to write an email now. Just sending that back to the engineer circuit specialists and see what they say about that. I wonder if they're actually going to sort of compensate me for my time. And of course it hasn't finished yet because we, let's spin around here, if I do, if I am asked, because I've got spare capacitors, I've checked, I've got loads of 100 nanofarad, these are uh, film capacitors. If I do have to, look, I'm going to have to unbolt the connections, unscrew all this, um, and hopefully leave all the wires connected. But I'll have to unbolt from the um, connector lead terminal. And uh, connectors, so I can then pull this forward uh, to be able to desolder, of course, and then replace those capacitors. Hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, this isn't terribly great, but then it's not terribly bad either. These are some chunky old, chunky uh, transformers here. So I'm going to turn this about so it's sat how it should normally be sat. So I don't like the idea that it's putting a lot of strain on these screws um, and on these uh, these components. So there we are, about turned. I feel a lot happier with it like that. But as you can see, look, all these will have to be undone. So there's one, two, I can't tell what's on the inside of there, but there's three, three screws, six bolts, uh, nuts even to be taken off. And as long as that is just it, hopefully then that board will come out and um, I can change it. And I think that's what I'm going to probably do now, actually. I'm going to, I may as well get on and do it because I've got a funny feeling that they're not going to pick this supply up. They're just going to leave me to fix it. And it won't be the first time that's happened with what I've bought off eBay. I've got another power supply here which I had to fix. Another 10 amp one as well. Um, so I'll probably have to do then. <laughs> probably have to do this one as well. Do you know it's it's really saying something when you go and buy stuff and you get it home and you got to fix it. Before you can use it as you want to, or as you should be able to. So. Hey, hey. Oh, I just noticed down there that's a. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a tiny little. Yeah, the, the red wires all coming out that blue sleeving. That's a tight little there. Uh, little red wires coming out down there. I don't know if you can see them. Big ass diodes and stuff. I'm not sure what you can see when I when I put the light over like that because it actually blurs out the, the picture on the screen, so I can't see anything. Which that probably doesn't help because I tend to have the brightness dimmed out on the screen. I always take the phone to bed with me so I can watch comedies. I just fall asleep laughing to comedies. So, yeah. Hey. Well, I suppose I better start undoing those and pulling that out.